Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Hermana, sis, my man, what's your nationality, bro? Hey, yeah, I'm great Columbia, real quick. Let me ask you a question. You ever been to Colombia? Yeah. You been to Colombia? What part? Cali. Cali. Okay. You from Puerto Rico, Colombia? Albania. Albania. Okay. Now let me let me show you something real quick. Did you believe in Islam according to the Bible? You ever heard of this? No. What color is Christ in according to the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? Uh, I'm not religious. Now why not? Cause I, I, I know a lot of people aren't, but I want I want to get them to understand why you're not. Cause a lot of people are confused. I'm just more interested in like science. In science, okay. Now let me ask you this: Who create? Who is the one that pushes forth the science in America today? Who controls a lot of the institutions, the colleges, the scientific labs, the government? The government? Who's in Who's in charge of the government of America? What nation of people? Okay, there's white people. She's Albanian, she's not white people. So now, why is it so hard for us to understand that? You know what I'm saying? Now, I want to show you something. Get read in English, because you speak more English, right? Okay, so now read, read in English. I want to show you that science is something that has always been used to deceive people. For example, do you believe that according to science, that there is a, someone that created the world, or that we had a big bang? I see both, both views. Like, you can't both. You see how science confuses people? I'm open-minded like that. I can, I believe that like, there could be a higher... You got science policy? Uh, Go 76 and 20. Come on. I need English. Say it again. I see both sides. So, I mean, if there is a God and I saw it... I okay. Well, now, let me show you something real quick. Because let me see. It says, there's either truth... Wait, what's your name? What's your name? Flo. There's either truth or lies, right? You can't have, like, you know what? Well, I want to keep the lie and then keep the truth, too. And then, you know, if I'm open-minded, I'll find it out later. That's, but you can't say we know the truth. You just say you know, you're still looking. That's the best way to phrase it, right? I want to show you something. Read that. You got it yet? 6 and 20. Read the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse 20. Come! Oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, abiding profound in vain balances, and on the positions of positions, read, and on positions of science. So the Bible also talks about how science will be used to oppose the knowledge of God. Well, now, what we just talked about the Big Bang or God creating the world, right? Now, have you ever seen an explosion give birth to order? You ever seen dynamite? You ever seen dynamite give birth to perfect cycles? There's a season cycle, there's a water cycle, there's a life cycle, the animal cycle, everything. What is that? Cycles in order. It doesn't come from a bang. You see what I'm saying? Now, let me ask you this. Do you, what, what is the problem that you, that you have with the Bible? I don't have a problem. I'm just not interested. You're not interested in it. All right. So if you're interested, keep listening. Because I want you to say, well, I ask questions about anything we're talking about here. All right? My man, come here real quick. I want to ask you a question. I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Why do you believe in the Bible? Why do we believe in the Bible? Keep on saying 46 and 10. And then keep Deuteronomy 28. And keep it simple. That's it. We believe the Bible because it says from the beginning to the end, everything. That Bible happened to our people. Every single thing. From slavery to all of it. Uh, uh, we are making now the last days. Oh, read. Isaiah, chapter 46, verse 10. Declare the end from the beginning. The Bible says it declares the end from the beginning. There is nothing that no book in the world, no knowledge, no science in the world that can declare what is yet to come. Oh, it comes through on that prophecy. No book, no science, textbook, no physiology, no physics, nothing. Wait. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, and from ancient times, 2,000 years ago, it was declared that our people were going to slavery. It wasn't yet done. Oh. And now it's past. You understand? You know, did you ever go to college? I went to college. I got three degrees. So I've been through the system. I'm not just talking out of my behind. Oh. I've seen it. I've read the books. I've been in libraries that most people can't go in. Oh. Now read that again. Finish it off. Isaiah, chapter 46, verse 10. Declare the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. Now, let's go to Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to show you Deuteronomy 28 real quick. Because I know, cause, what's your name again? Because Kelly. Kelly right now is looking for clout. I ain't going to lie to you, Kelly. I ain't going to lie to you. Many things we can go for days on things that have been fulfilled in the Bible. Sis, what's your name? Are you Puerto Rican? No? 
Ah, uh, sure, sir. Go ahead, read that. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. This is the Bible. The curses of the Bible. This is what's going to signify who the Israelites are in the last days. Read it 3,000 years ago. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day. Then all these threats, all these curses, are you listening to curses right there in the bad thing? A curse could be a good thing. That's what he's saying. That's, a, that's not living the definition. If you look in a book, a dictionary, I'm good, sir. it tells you a curse is a bad thing. You can read it. Read. Then all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now let's go to curse that happened to the so-called Puerto Ricans, the so-called Cubans, the so-called Mexicans. Get verse 39. Bring it up. And I want everybody to look at that family dollar. We're going to see if this is prophecy in the Bible. Read. Verse, verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Now the Bible says one of the curses is that a nation shall come from far. Who came to Cuba and conquered that island? Yo. Who? You want to know? Will that sign help you? Who did that? Oh, now we don't know history. Now we don't know history. Bring it home. Hey, hey, flow, flow. Who did that? Who did that to the people of Cuba? Oh, I got that news now. 500 years later, Dr. Houston Norris did that. Yeah. Yeah. Now the white sheep clouds over. The Bible cannot be debunked. Read. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from forth. The Bible says to the Puerto Ricans, you Dominicans, you Mexicans, sir, who did that? You see that mural right there? Who did that? Gee. Hey, wait, you ain't wrong. But well, read this. Read it. Go again. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from forth. The Bible says, one nation shall come to conquer the so-called Hispanics. What happened in 1492? Who was there? Conquering black Indians. The stabbing of the sword. We're going to read that in the Bible. Look at the family dollar. My man on the bike, look at the family dollar. It's on there. Our history's there. Read. From the end of the earth, from the end of the earth, at that time, the other side of the Atlantic was the end of the earth. Spain, Portugal, France, England, Rome. As swift as the eagle flyer. The Bible says they shall come as swift as the eagle fly. Where's the sign? Where's the sign? Let's get that. The so-called Puerto Ricans, the so-called Cubans. The Bible says a nation shall come from the other side of the earth. My man, do you understand the history of the conquistadors in Puerto Rico? Real. Hold that real quick. I'm going to that. I want verse 87 in now. Because the problem with Puerto Ricans is they don't think about their history. Puerto Ricans live in life in America. Why your family still got no electricity in Puerto Rico? Real. Hosea, chapter 7, verse 9. Strangers of the Bible. Script. We just read who the strangers were in the Bible. We just read about the conquistadors. My man. My man, I want to ask you a question. Do you have the español? Dime, ¿de qué parte del Eso viene? ¿De qué parte? Aleluya. Vieques. Dime. Read that. Hosea, chapter 7, verse 9. Strangers have devoured his strength. The Bible says strangers have devoured the Puerto Rican strength. Strangers who conquered Puerto Rico and took the gold. Who conquered Puerto Rico and took our women. Who conquered Puerto Rico and took the land. Even today, Puerto Rico is for sale. Puerto Rico is for sale right now. If you go to Arecibo, if you go to San Juan, if you go to Ponce, all those cities are being sold to Caucasian millionaires. We strangers have devoured his strength, and he knoweth it not. He knoweth it not. How many thousands of Puerto Ricans are listening right now? And y'all give a damn about your history. Y'all don't give a damn that somebody else came, stole your land, and continued to oppress you. Throwing paper towels at you when you have a hurricane. Just shooting jump shots. We. Yay! Gray hairs are here and there upon him. The Bible says gray hairs are here and there upon him. My man, I want to ask you a question. Sis, read. Gray hairs. Yay! Gray hairs are here and there upon him. Yet he knoweth not. They get old. My grandfather, 77, gray hair all over. And won't say one thing about slavery. He's from Puerto Rico.
Israel. He worked in it. He worked in it. Sugar cane fields. No, no. And he still won't talk about it. Word. Wait, is that it? Same. Verse 10. And the pride of Israel testify to his face. And they do not return to the Lord their God. The pride of Israel. Right now. You are dancing in the street with Word. a flag that means nothing. Word. You don't even know the history of that flag. Word. That flag was that flag was taken to Greek on their land. In the Greek of the Islands in 1868, that was a sign of revolution. That was a sign of us rebelling against colonial rule. Yeah. But now we're in our colony and we're celebrating it. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. 